where we um, assessed women with ovarian cancer who were about to get first-line neurotoxic chemotherapy, platinum and taxines, uh, for ovarian cancer and other gynecologic cancers. Um, and we assessed them prior to starting their chemotherapy um, on a variety of self-report measures, um, including things like the, the severity of their numbness and tingling and also the degree of uh, symptom interference in their daily life activities. Um, and so we assessed them prior to starting chemo um, and we assessed them on day one of each chemotherapy cycle for six cycles. And we also had them complete a daily symptom diary. So they tracked their symptoms every single day for 126 days. Um, and so when we looked at those data, we were able to see that women who experience an early onset of continuous clinically significant neuropathy, which we defined as a severity of three or greater on a zero to 10 scale, um, we found that those women were um, highly likely to be um, at, at the end of chemotherapy to complain of not being able to, to have enjoyment in their daily life activities, to experience interference, and particularly in walking and in working. So um, this is uh, a nice demonstration of the fact that besides being um, unpleasant and distressing, the neuropathy actually does have functional effects that carry on even when, when people are finished with chemotherapy.